Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start the Less Tested series, starting with foil gels. I have a bunch of foil gels from different companies that I have bought and tried over the years. We are going to test it with like a spaced apart foil and a rose gold one that is full coverage just so we can really get a true idea of what works and what don't. So we will start with the Fusion Foils Clear. Mine's almost gone. I've had this one for a while. And we are also going to be rating them. That just adds some fun. Just gonna grab my brush. Two swatch sticks. I will be curing everything for 60 seconds each in my fusion lamps. Make sure we apply a thin, even coat. I'm really excited to be testing these foil gels because a lot of them I haven't used in a really long time. I have been obsessed with this Glitter Mix Canada one since I got it, which was about a year ago. So I haven't really used any of the other ones. The tips just came out of the lamp. They have been in there for 60 seconds each. I'm going to grab my silicone tool. And we will start with the full cover. I find it easier sometimes if you kind of just bend it in half like this and then lay it on. It's so hard to do foil gel on a swatch. This is how the full cover transferred. I just want to see if I can fill in those pieces. too bad. I'll just put that off to the side for now. Okay. I feel like we rubbed this in enough. Mm. No. So this is how the Fusion Foil Gel went. It didn't quite take like any like color or something from the center there. No, you can see. And this was the full cover. Definitely not my favorite. We will rate this one. Actually, maybe I'll rate them all at the end just so we can see how they go first. So I will keep this beside the Fusion one. Next, we are going to try Johan's Transfer Foil Gel. I've been giving them all a shake and a stir to make sure they're good. I'm just going to put this on, 
cure it for 60 seconds and I will be right back. So these are fresh out of the lamp after 60 seconds. This one went completely matte and this one is shiny in the center. I'm not sure if they're supposed to dry matte or if that's just how it goes. So we will do the full color first. Okay, not bad. A little bit up at the top. Overall, not terrible. We'll leave that there. Okay, let's do the flower one. So we are gonna try for these two images right here. That actually went fairly well. You can just see that right here. The center of the flower didn't go. Oh, I cracked the stick. <laughs> okay. It was just that little piece, but that blue flower covered perfect. So here are those two side by side. Not too bad. And again, this was the Johans Transfer Foil Gel. We will do the final rating towards the end. Next up, we will test the Glitter Mix Canada one. This is my personal favorite foil gel. Just really took a liking to this one. It was the first one I got to work really well for me when I was starting off. It just applies so nice and smooth. This one does not look any different when it is cured. It is not matte. It just stays shiny. So we are going to do the full cover foil first. I just love how this one covers. That went fairly well. You can just, there's like little bits there, but that's about it. We love that. Now, we will do this big area of flowers right here.
beautiful. You can tell there's like nothing left behind. Just a comparison side by side. I love this foil gel so much. If you guys Here's the final look for the Glitter Mix Canada Foil Gel. If you struggle with foil gels, I highly recommend trying this one. This was the first one I bought when I was having issues and I find it works perfect. Let's try the Sheen one next. This is made by Mowbray. So we're just going to give that a little a stir. I have not tried this one yet. I recently just hauled it, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. If there are any other foil gels on the market you would like me to try, please let me know. Swatch sticks have been cured for 60 seconds. These did get kind of like a yellowy tint after they cured. This is the foil gel we're testing from Sheen. We will start with the full cover first. Oh wow. I'm fairly surprised by that. Now let's try it with the floral. We will do this flower right here. Oh, wow. Okay, I did not have high hopes for this. That went on, like, perfectly. Okay, that was a surprise. Here's the two of them side by side. I am absolutely shocked. This was purchased on Sheen for like $3 I want to say. Next foil gel we will be testing is this Chris Trio foil gel. This one was purchased from Canada Nail Supplies. I already cured them to save us some time. These were both in for 60 seconds. These ones, you can tell, also went kind of matte when they cured. Starting to lift up. So that one is missing part of the top there. Okay, let's try a floral pattern. Oh, 
There's just a piece left there and some up around the top. You can see like the gap in the flower and the gap in the one up there. There's the two of them side by side. Not too bad. And now, last but not least, we are gonna move on to wildflowers, foil sticky gel. I have them cured for 60 seconds in the lamp. These kind of have like a little, you can't really tell in the video, but like a little blue tint. I'll leave this here. This one I purchased at Create a Beauty a long time ago. So we will do the full nail first. Not bad. Coverage is beautiful on the sides. Just the foil, you can tell there's just like some of the little light creases. And now we will move on to the floral design. Let's get these flowers. Okay, let's see. Okay. That one covered really well. I'm just going to get all these put together. And we are going to go over our final thoughts. Okay, now that I have time to gather my thoughts and rate them, we are going to go from first to sixth place. So, sixth place, I'm going to have to give to this Fusion Foil Gel. This is just not a personal favorite of mine. Like, it just didn't transfer very well. So, that's why I decided to give this one my last place. Fifth place, the Chris Trio one. I have always had issues with this foil gel. That is why it is in fifth place. This one has a huge patch missing there and the flowers. You leave them here so you can see. Fourth place, we have the Johans. This one is not too bad. This is one of the ones that also dries in matte. But it just doesn't fully dry matte which causes issues with it sticking. Now, before I rated all these, I have tried all of these in the past with different curing times to make sure what I was saying was accurate. The third place goes to Wildflowers Foil Gel. This one I actually really like. It transfers beautiful. I really enjoy this one. 
second place goes to Mowbray Sheen Polish. This one really surprised me. This was my first time using it today and it transferred perfect. I really like that one. And first place goes to my favorite foil gel, Glitter Mix Canada. This one I can just get to work so easily. It transfers so beautiful and even like on human hands, it is so easy to apply. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know what other products you would like me to test out in this Let's Test It series. Next one is going to be a stamping review on stampers, plates, and polishes. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.